Hello and welcome to the Smart Women in Business vlog and podcast. I'm your host, Jay Mackay from Jay Mackay Communications, marketing consultant and coach who works with people across the world to build the business of their dreams. Today, I'm talking to another woman who helps people live their dreams, Sema Martin, who was a full-time artist living in the south of France, which sounds divine. Before becoming an artist, Sema worked as an aerospace engineer and interned at the NASA Ames Research Center in California. Sema achieved two master's degrees in aerospace and space engineering and was about to pursue a PhD when she rediscovered her love of art. In 2016, Sema launched a pet portrait commission business with the help of social media and decided to leave her career in engineering behind and pursue her true passion. In May 2020, Sema published her first book called Art Is My Career, How to Start an Art Business, which has now sold over 2,000 copies. Congrats. Sema is passionate about showing the world that art can be a real career and should be respected as much as engineering careers are. I'm very excited to have you on the show, Sema, despite it being the middle of the night there. (laughs) Thank you so much for having me. Yes, I was really looking forward to it. It's um it's an admirable effort to be up in the middle of South France in the middle of the night, but I am go to you, amazing, and you have a baby, which is even more impressive. So oh, you have a, you. such an interesting journey. So tell me about your you, your business journey in a broader sense than just the accolades and being an aerospace engineer and mm-hmm. coming back to art. So how did you get to where you are right now? Well, to be fair, growing up, I was never really told that art was an opportunity to have a career in art. Um, it was always said, you know, that's a hobby, you know, you're good at it, but what is your real job going to be? So it was never really implied, you know, by parents, by teachers, by anyone really, um, that, you know, that's something I should pursue. It was normally like, you know, if you're going to do art, then all you can do is become an art teacher because only big big people make it in like galleries and things like that it just didn't feel or sound like it was something possible for me so I just pursued my um, other interest which was science engineering um, which I really loved and I'm very pleased I did that career you know I wouldn't change it for the world but I'm also very very pleased that I refound my love of art because I always colored I always drew like you, you know all my my photos growing up when you look back and you know the three-year-old me is like coloring in a coloring book like that's just who I was so rediscovering art just really helped me rediscover myself um and it's it's just been everything to me to be able to turn it into a career and I can finally you know do it as my job and as, since I'm now my own boss as well um I can do it really flexibly Um, choose my hours and provide for my family and be there for my newborn baby (laughs) it's 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 funny how we are there is this perception that you can't make money from being creative Mm. in in you know careers counselors have a lot to answer for but we're always pushed into those traditional sort of streams of income the the very conventional accounting law medicine you know all the yeah all all the conventional ones yet I have many friends who are artists to make money from their art and yes the world needs not creativity told about them no we're yes. not talking about them <laughs> because it's completely possible because I'm doing it yes. <laughs> and I know so many others that are doing it mm. but you're just not told about those success stories you're not told about the different ways of doing it because becoming an artist doesn't mean you're only successful in art galleries I've done it from a completely different way of being my own boss being my own marketer being my own entrepreneur when it comes to the the business side of my art and just doing it all myself Mm. um and through social media social media social media has um been an amazing impact on the art industry Mm. because artists can market themselves we don't need to rely on galleries and agencies and things like that anymore we can just use social media to show the world what we can create and it's amazing is I was born at the right time <laughs> <laughs> thank you social um I, yes. I often talk about how socials facilitated my business because I live rurally in the middle of like mm-hmm. nowhere town less than a thousand people but I work yep. with clients across the world and that's mm. 
translates into you can have an art business that is global yes with the help of social media yeah because me and my husband were like well we both work from home um and we were like you know where would we live if we could pick anywhere you know where would it be like and it it wasn't hypothetical to us because we worked from home we could move anywhere which is why we decided to move uh, to the south of france it's nice weather yeah, um it's a and place. We, yeah. yes it's beautiful it's lovely and it's just a different uh style of living and it's, it's a nicer way of um life than where we were in the middle of wales where it rained all the time um, <laughs> my grandma was born in wales and yes it rains all yes. the time <laughs> yeah it's a beautiful place but yes Stunning. it rains all the time <laughs> <laughs> and so, half my family yeah. is still in the uk and i visit and I go wow it really the stereotypes about the uk i love it it's like my yep. mother's homeland but wow it really does rain it's the opposite of where really i am does. in australia <laughs> um, exactly so you started off in pet portraiture which and i've i yes. know some very successful pet portrait people how did you evolve mm-hmm. then into you wrote a book you're doing other art full time what were the signs it was time to evolve and and how did you negotiate that navigate that Um, Well, I still do the pet portrait commissions. Um, They're still sort of my main, my main income. Yeah. um, Because I I just love doing pet portraits. Like it just, it gives me so much joy to be able to do these portraits for people because they're so thankful and happy. And, you know, it means so much to them Mm. to be able to create these portraits for them. And then it goes on their wall. And I just love knowing that I've created all these portraits for people all over the world and so I'm, I'm never going to stop doing that um I have two very the very the most beautiful bunnies actually in the whole world mm-hmm. who, oh yeah <laughs> yeah so my daughter does portraits of them for me oh <laughs> they're just gorgeous that's anyway, wonderful. So people do love just love them. yeah <laughs> mm, <laughs> we definitely, really do yeah 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 so, yeah no, sorry anyway just, so, and then you and went I into writing drawing them <laughs> yeah yeah and they're gorgeous yeah. Anyway, sorry, don't get me started on my pets. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk about your bunnies if you want to. <laughs> Except when they're coming in here and eating the internet cable, but we don't talk about that. Oh, no. <laughs> so you ended up, sorry, you ended up writing a book, which is amazing. Um, yeah, so, well, before, it wasn't it wasn't really going to be a book. It was actually started off as a blog post because I was getting a lot of new pet portraits. It was like four years into my business. So I'd been full time for like three and a half years um, and I kept getting a lot of questions from new pet portrait artists or just new artists in general asking me loads of like business questions. Um, And, you know, I just it was sort of like became the same questions over and over again. And I thought, well, you know, I want to give people all my knowledge, you know, because it just wasn't out there at the time. This was back in 2020 before COVID hit. Um, and it just wasn't out there at the time of like, you know, you can Google until you're blue in the face, but everyone gives you a different answer. The, when you're trying to find answers to things, you don't know, are, are, you, are they talking about marketing from an artist perspective mm. or is it different for artists? Like, it just wasn't clear what to actually do in the position, you know, that you're in for your specific career. So I thought, okay, well, I've done the legwork. I've made the mistakes, I've tried everything, I've been doing it for, you know, successfully for three and a half years, maybe I should tell others what I'm doing, and maybe that can help them as well. So I started off writing this blog post, answering like the most common questions, and it was just getting longer and longer (laughs) and longer, and I was just like, okay, well, this is is just too long, so maybe it should be, you know, a little ebook kind of thing. And then my husband was like, why don't you just publish a book, like write it properly, just tell everyone everything. And I was like, oh, my gosh, that's such a good idea. Like, I never really thought that I could publish a book. Like, I'm also dyslexic. So in the first place, I never thought I'd even write a book because I hate reading and writing. Like, it's just not my thing. Um, so I thought, OK, I just start writing it. And just it just started pouring out. I think it's the easiest thing I've ever written. Like, editing was hard, but easiest thing I've ever written. <laughs> um just because it was all there it was all just in my head waiting to come out and to tell people and to help people just along their artistic journey and it's called how to start an art business art is my career with the hobby Mm. crossed out because it was so important to me to show people you know it's not 
just a hobby. It can be your career. I'm literally doing it. And this is how I've done it. And my book is not only like, you know, a story about me. It's also a step by step guide. Because as a dyslexic, I don't like reading huge chunks of text. So I wanted to break it down. So the whole thing has got like diagrams, bullet points, flow charts. It's not just like a big story book. I didn't want it to be like that. I wanted someone to say, you know, sit you down and be like, this is how you do it. Follow step one, then step two, step three. Like that's literally what the book is. And I wish I had this book when I first started. <laughs> it would have saved me so much time. But I'm pleased that I could be that person for other people now. So yeah, yeah. that's amazing. And 2000 plus people, like the number of lives yeah. you've impacted and a quote that stayed for me with me for many years. And it comes back to we're not told as young kids that creativity can be a career um, is you can't be what you can't see. And we don't see artists being successful, creatives being successful unless they're rock and roll or actors, you know, big music. But now I you think- are you are being what other people haven't been able to see and, and being that example. And that's really admirable. So congratulations on that. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm just I'm just so happy I can I can be that for people. The the person that I I wish I could have like um you know asked for help and you know looked up to or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously you've mentioned your baby. How do you manage your life as a as an entrepreneur? Well, it's been tricky so far. <laughs> <laughs> Baby's um three months and four weeks. So it's all new still. Yeah. Um, but I'm learning on the job, just like I did with my art business. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm um, I'm eleven and a half years and I in and I still don't know what I'm doing with this whole parenting yeah. mark. I just muddle through. <laughs> yeah. I feel like uh, you just take it day by day and see what happens. Really. Yeah. Um, so that's what I've been doing. Like so, some days she naps really well, so then I can get quite a lot of work done. Sometimes she doesn't nap at all until like midnight and then I'm like, well, I'm too tired to do any work now. So I just go to bed. Um, But yeah, I have been managing to get about three hours of work in a day, which, you know, in comparatively when I used to have endless time, um, (laughs) it's not a lot, but it's really helped me prioritize what's necessary for my business. Um, because before when you have all the time in the world you want to do everything Mm. so you know you want to be on every social media platform you want to be doing posts all the time as well as doing your artwork as well as writing this and doing that but I don't have that luxury anymore so it's really helped me you know understand okay what is the most important parts of my business what need what needs me Mm. you know what can't do without me what can posture along without me um and that kind of thing and that's actually been really helpful because I feel like I've just streamlined things and made it made sure that you know my business keeps going um and is you know still supporting me and my family but I'm just I'm just using my you know very limited time on the most important things which is right now the portrait commissions you know they Mm. don't draw themselves (laughs) not yet (laughs) (laughs) yes (laughs) Because they're my, they're my priority. Um, Absolutely. And, th- and things like my art community, because I've built this website now, which is called artismycareer.com, um, where I've also put a lot of articles and knowledge, um, bits and pieces, like, you know, uh, how to create um, certificates of authenticity for your artwork, how to photograph your artwork, lots of bits and bobs like that. What all about image licensing anything that artists sort of like have questions about um, that I haven't really covered in my book because these are all new things that I've learned on the go as Mm. well Mm. um, I've put into this website so I've been trying to like you know build it as I go I did a lot while I was pregnant (laughs) Um, but now I try and write like a new article every week or so um, and keep building that website slowly just just to help artists uh, you know when I when I remember how to do something or I've just learned how to do something new, it's like, oh, I better write about that and tell everyone else how to do it. Otherwise, you know, no one's going to know. <laughs> everyone will be stuck yeah. like I was. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so bits and bobs like that, you know, that's not the priority, but it's nice to do when I can. 
Um, so yeah, definitely my limited time has really helped me streamline my business a lot better. Yeah, you get very efficient once you have kids. Mm, and, and, the, and the time you do have is very productive. Like, very, I, very. I remember having my son, who's now almost eight, in mm-hmm. one of those electronic rockers outside the study. And oh, he yeah. would just chill there and nap there. And I'd just be like, working, 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 working. And then yeah. pay attention to him. And then he'd go back down. I'd be like, working, 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 mm. working. And that's just how yeah. you have to do it. So yeah. obviously you're in a time of, of transition. You've got a newborn baby. But what does a mm-hmm. great day in the office look like to you? And I think I'm probably um, guessed this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, yeah. Um, I don't really spend much time in the office anymore. <laughs> but in between when she's napping, um, I... I like to start off by going through comments on social media, emailing people back. I always like to make sure I do that at least every day. Um, you don't want to wait, keep anybody waiting, especially if there's any commission inquiries mm. or someone's asking a question about something. Uh, you know, your customers come first in your business. Yeah. Um, you know, that's the most important thing, or you wouldn't have a business. So I like to do that in the mornings, you know, as soon as I can, basically. Um, and yeah so I go through comments I go through um emails replying to anything that I need to um and then the next free time I get um I would be looking at my schedule so I've got my commission schedule looking at the upcoming portraits making sure I've got the images and things for those um making sure my customers know when I'm starting their portraits I like to keep everybody updated because again as a commission artist customer communication is really important you don't want to leave people hanging Mm. Um, you need to keep them updated you need to keep telling them you know okay I'm starting it this time you know is this the right picture is this the changes you want me to make you know make sure that that flow of communication keeps going and you're not just dropped off the face of the earth as soon as you have their money yeah Um, yeah yeah you don't want to do that at all no, ever. <laughs> um, and especially things like you know before I I had my baby like um I was running slightly late with the commissions and I let my customers know and I ended up finishing one of them straight after I had her um <laughs> that was kind of hard but you know yeah. I let them know and I keep them in the loop and they were totally fine with it they were like you know take your time take you know a few more weeks if you need to like they don't need it right now they understand that I've just had a child and you know but they wouldn't have been like that if I just blanked them, them and didn't yeah. say anything yeah it's so important just to keep your customers in the loop so I do things like that and then normally towards the end of the day um when my baby's asleep then I would draw because I need to sort of be in the artistic zone for that and I need no interruptions and Mm. kind of thing at least for an hour (laughs) um so yeah and then I just draw for the rest of the night until I go to bed (laughs) nice nice yeah (laughs) it's oh yeah my daughter is a is a an artist we've always got Mm -hmm. pencils and stuff and all over the floor anyway yeah (laughs) I have to calm. Just ignore that is the something closet. I have to change about my studio. As soon as she starts grabbing and walking and Ooh, falling, yeah. and she started rolling now, so I can't leave her unattended at all on the floor mat. It's so easy when as, they're immobile. Oh my goodness! Yeah, like she only started rolling last week, so it's just been a night. <laughs> like I put her down, I go, I turn around to get something, and she's, she's on her gone. front. Yeah, it's like, where are you? What are you doing? <laughs> where did you go and what are you reaching? Oh, it's so yeah, funny. Exactly. <laughs> I remember that yeah. very well. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. So, what are your favorite like tools to be productive and efficient in your business? Um, so I have to have I have my diary. I write everything in my diary. Um, you know, I ha- I like to time things. Before I had my child, you know, I was very good at sticking to my times, and now I can't really that <laughs> that well. You know, she sort of tells me when I can work, but um, I I like to schedule times. I like time blocking because it mm. just really helps me focus on that one task. So it's like you know, from eight till nine, I'm just going to s- focus on social media and schedule my posts and that kind of thing. Um, I find time blocking so useful oh, um, and I I use things like later or even Canva does scheduling now yeah, you can schedule does. posts on Canva um, so I've been using that recently to schedule things and to make my posts and stuff like that I really love Canva it's such a good, oh, um, so good. app 
and they've made it so much better I was like oh my goodness I love it but I'm a camera camera pro now and <laughs> I just love it it's not yeah. even that expensive and it's just so good with the well, amount of things you can do revolutionized yeah. uh, how people can work mm. in their business and I love it yeah. and I, I, yeah. I even as a designer I use Canva because it's just mm. so much easier yeah because I've got Photoshop and everything and I do mm. use Photoshop but Canva just makes it so much easier because like with the click of the button you can remove the background it's like what great <laughs> <laughs> where was this 10 years ago now <laughs> yeah exactly so much easier. <laughs> yeah. yeah so I love using Canva and you know I um I also have uh, like a spreadsheet of all my all my commissions and I I have my schedule and all that kind of stuff so you know um, I I love Microsoft <laughs> Excel um yeah and then I use social media like Instagram and Facebook to actually get my clients and Squarespace for my website I love Squarespace I I've been through so many like when I first started I was on Wix um and it wasn't it wasn't good five years ago I think it is better now Mm. from some people I've heard they really like it but I didn't like it five years ago Squarespace Um, is is amazing it's it's another thing it's democratized design Mm. people who are it just makes tech. everything so much easier to make it look nice mm. it's hard not to have a nice looking website, website. using squarespace yeah. yeah so i love squarespace um mailchimp for email stuff um building your email list is so important mm-hmm. because you don't want to be completely reliant on social media oh. um yeah like when you've got those emails and you've got you know that person's information you know that's yours if yeah. social media goes out tomorrow you've still got those clients on your email list yeah so i would say that's, like that yeah sorry social media is rented whereas your mailing list yeah. and your website are owned like they, yeah. social could go any day and we have no and they change all the time oh, just like how tiktok's blown up yeah. so yeah but Snapchat was massive there for a constantly. minute and everyone's like, you've got to be on Snapchat. And it's like, oh, not another one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. And then like there was that Vero one, I remember. And that I didn't remember quite that make it. I was on that for a bit and then that didn't really do anything. And yeah, so it will come and go. And it's so important to like try and build those sustainable things like your website, like your email mailing list. Um because those are the things you know that you have control over mm, mm. Um, yeah was that so, the question <laughs> <laughs> great answer one of the yeah. things that affects every entrepreneur I've met almost is imposter syndrome at some stage of their career so it's not necessarily always imposter syndrome but how do you respond to the bad days of being in business because we see the Instagram shiny but we don't necessarily see how we are all coping in the background when we have a bad day, which is inevitable mm. in business. <laughs> yes, definitely. No, I, I find it um, like at the beginning, I used to really panic because, you know, especially the first year of business, you have to learn well the, where the lulls are in the year because mm. not every month is going to be the same. No. It's not like a job. Yeah. You know, there are some months are going to be more lucrative than others. And that's just what you have to learn. Keep track of that and make sure that you save for those months where you don't earn as much from the months when you do. Mm. Um, so yeah, the first year of doing that was kind of scary. And, you know, it was the first time I hadn't had an, hadn't had an income and I just, you know, dropped everything. <laughs> and was like, oh, no, I'm drawing cats for a living now. Yeah. This is the right thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> I can now tell the past summer that yes yes it was the right thing to do but um <laughs> at the time I was incredibly scared like everybody is when they first do that kind of thing um and I think looking back it's really important to just keep going mm. um but also keep going at the right thing you know what's actually helping you what's helping your business move forward where is where do you want to take your business as well like you've got to keep moving towards a goal and if you don't have a goal it's really hard to see if you're even being successful if you're even doing well Mm. because if you don't know what you're trying to achieve in the first place how do you measure your success Mm. um so that's always what I try and reflect on it's like okay so you know I feel really rubbish today I feel terrible about myself you know 
am I failing blah 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 you know all those thoughts that come into your head and I think okay but what's my goal Mm. my goal is to be a full-time artist doing what I love taking care of my baby well I'm doing that (laughs) I'm literally doing that right now (laughs) doing that so no I'm not a failure I'm doing well you know well done pat yourself on the back (laughs) you know and that's why it's so important to have goals because then you can reflect on them and Mm. if you're not there then okay how are you going to get there so like my next goal would be you know to create um, a, a body of work so I could you know sell prints and things like that what have I done today to take myself towards that? Well, I've done some research and some subjects and I've thought about what that body of work could be. Mm. Great. That's a, that's a small step. You know, I haven't completed any artwork, but I've taken the step towards maybe completing an artwork, you know, and that's sort of how you have to think about it. I think it really helps um, win those dark days to just think about, okay, what have I done? Where am I going? And how can I get there? Mm. And it really does help me to think that way because I, I do have countless days when I just feel terrible. <laughs> and I think everybody does. It doesn't matter how successful or how you know, amazing your life looks on the outside to other people. Everybody has rubbish days. Yeah. Um, so that's sort of how I pick myself up. <laughs> how you've mentioned this earlier you mentioned your community how do you maintain your sense of community while working alone although your husband is there co-working with you but yeah yeah well being an artist is quite a solitary career um because you know you just sit down and draw and paint all day by yourself (laughs) you don't really do it's not really a group activity Mm. um but I founded like this community. So it's called the Art is My Career community on Facebook. So anyone who bought my book is now on this community um, group. And we all discuss things and help each other through like business questions or any other questions if people need help on something. If, um, you know, we just want feedback on like logo designs or literally anything really. Like it's really helped me and others to um just chat about stuff which is we we didn't really have that before well I didn't have that before you know if you've if you've come up with some business card designs who do you ask Mm, if mm. you don't have like I normally always ask ask my husband but if you don't have someone who's sort of business minded or artistic minded and that just agree with you all the time you know who are you gonna ask for feedback Mm. And that's what I created this community for. And it's been so helpful and so wonderful. And I really appreciate everybody that's joined this community. Um, I'm trying to build it, you know, as big as I can to help as many people as I can. Um, Because also on my social media, Art is My Career on Instagram, there's a community building there. And then I'm also building a forum on the artismycareer.com. And also on my own personal um, artist, Emma Martin, uh, Facebook and Instagram like I, I've got a community of artists follow me and we chat about materials and you know I help people out with picking subjects and materials out and stuff like that so I, I guess as an artist your community can be everywhere mm. um, you know with who you talk to and like you know who you reply to and it's actually really helpful just to reach out to other artists as well that inspire you and just chat to them because you know they may not reply but most of the time they do which is really lovely um so just keep talking to people and I've been yeah I've been really enjoying building this community of artists and it's it's just been really really lovely Mm. and finding people who are you know it's art is one of those things that it is it's such an evolution when you're in it as well Mm. if you if you create when you start with a blank page or whatever and you get there and the mm. one thing I find really strange about creating art is you never like when is it finished like one of the keys is to know when it's finished yeah. <laughs> that's what I always struggle with I'm like yeah is this done could I have more I don't know so yeah it's really funny but people who yeah. understand that in your community it's just like the whole process the whole thing that creating art is um it's beautiful um so help have people to talk to that understand what you're doing (laughs) yeah yeah because I I like in my work I have like as you said you ask your husband things and I'm like 
my husband doesn't really understand what I do so I can't ask him but yeah finding other people who do similar things similar clients even it's good fun it's good fun to chat to people that really understand yeah what you do so um what's your why what keeps you motivated um I guess before my daughter (laughs) it was it was I guess younger me like I want to be the person that she would have like it would have shown her um you know this is what's possible um and now for my daughter I want to be that as well and through you know the different careers I've had I want to show her that not only you know a woman can do all these things but you know you don't have to have specific experience to do these things like Mm -hmm. I haven't done a degree in art I haven't got any business you know certificates or experience really before starting art but I'm still doing it Mm. and it's just so important just to start it just to get into it just don't wait for things and don't wait for permission as well Mm. you know just start it if you want to do something if you're passionate about something you know the worst you can do is wait or not do it because you're scared of failing Mm. um and that's all that's just when I want to show her like you know if you're passionate about something you want to do it then just do it because also as humans we evolve um through our lives as well and what what we're Mm. passionate about one year might be different another so just do it at the time you that you want to do it because you know that will pass and then you might regret thinking oh you know I should have done it then because now I want to do something else and it would have been helpful or you know it would have been fun uh, even like fun is a great reason to do something (laughs) exactly like you know we only live once let's just enjoy it (laughs) why does it have to be productive all the time (laughs) (laughs) yeah we put so much pressure on ourselves I love that so that leads me into my next question which is what are your top tips for all the smart smart men and women around the world I'm about to rebrand this this podcast because it got bigger than I thought it was going to so we have to shout out to all the blokes out there who listen yeah (laughs) exactly um yeah my I guess my top tip would be just to just start don't wait till everything's perfect don't wait till you know you've got enough money to build a website and get business cards and blah 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 like there's a never-ending to-do list when it comes with a business so just start and do it along the way is what I'd say um and get yourself out there because starting you know implies that you know you need to find your audience find your customers show them that you exist you know you can get your proof of concept that way you can figure Mm. out if your business is going to work you know no matter what your business is whether you're going to be an artist or a musician or you know literally anything product design just get yourself out there in front of your customer that you want to sell to and show them what you've got and then you'll get your feedback you'll know if you're doing the right thing and then you can quickly evolve quickly change quickly you know build from there if you don't know you know if you don't start if you've just got this idea and you never tell anyone you never share it then you're never going to know if it's any good Mm. Mm. yeah Yeah. there's so many incredibly talented people who just never put themselves out there they're just drawing mm. quietly. I, it's very scary. It's, it's never terrifying. not going to be scary. Yes, it's never not going to be scary. But, you know, the difference between the people that are successful and the people that are not is because they tried. Yeah. They just put themselves out there. They did it. And look, it's, it's worked. <laughs> yeah, they got you visible. Know? And that's, exactly. that's it. So and that's the only difference. Yeah, 100%. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'll put all your links in the show notes, but where can people find out more about you and what you do? And buy your book. Yes. Um, so if you want to know more about art and business, you can go to artismycareer.com. Um, my personal website, semamartin.com, is where you can commission me to do your pet. My bunnies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I'm also on Instagram and Facebook with Art is My Career and Artist Semma Martin. Um, and you can also buy my book on Amazon. Um, just type in Art is My Career on Amazon and it should come up. I also do workbooks as well to help people through um, specific uh, types of um, business like PR, how to do storytelling, marketing, um, commission logbook, you know, how to log your commissions and, you know, be really structured and scheduled with that. 
Um, so they're all under my author name on Amazon as well. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Sema. I've really thank enjoyed it. Thank you so much for you. having me. I was really excited about this. <laughs>